thanks for joining my kitchen today for another great recipe. This is going back to my Dominican roots. And today's arroz con pollo, rice with chicken. I have here some sea salt and some oregano. And I'm going to mix that up with some garlic. I have my red onion, cilantro, my rice, my caldo de pollo, which is a um, maggi chicken flavor bouillon cube. I have my sazon goya, which adds color. I also have my Lori's Casero Total Seasoning, which you can get at any supermarket. And I have my six chicken thighs with the bone in. And I'm going to mash up my garlic with my salt and oregano. And I like to do it the traditional way with the pilon. That's what this wooden object is. I'm going to mix that up into my chicken. My chicken has already been seasoned with the Lowry's Casero Total Seasoning. I've sprinkled that on all the thighs. And now I'm going to mix in my garlic, oregano, and salt mixture that I just mashed up. Now this is the fun part. This is a little secret. I like to use a little teaspoon of sugar and I'm going to put it with some oil in a pan and I'm going to wait for the sugar to brown. I want you guys to hear this. Hear the sound of that. This is going to brown our chicken thighs. So we're browning our thighs. You're going to put them in with the skin side facing down and you're going to give your chicken like the best color. So I wanted you guys to have a chance to see the process. Once the uh, fat has browned and it's a nice color, we will be flipping the chicken thighs. So I'm checking and it's still not quite as brown as I'd like. I really like the fat to get nice and crispy. Um, so we're going to wait a little bit more. So now it's ready. This is how I like my skin to be. I like for it to be very browned. And then I'm going to flip my chicken thighs over. And I really like to make this meal for my family because it's so simple. It's just a one pot meal and it's so delicious. I, I can't wait for you guys to make this and try this for your family at home because it's really, really good. So I like to cook my chicken really well before I add the rice just to make sure that they are fully cooked. So we're going to let the chicken cook a little bit more. And then I'm going to add my chopped red onion, the cilantro, and just a little bit of water because the pan was almost completely dry so I'm going to add my onion cilantro and stir it in and make sure the onions get cooked and adds flavor and then basically what we're going to be building is a broth we're going to build this delicious broth and we're putting in now the bouillon cube I like to use Maggie but you can use any brand that you like and I'm going to be putting in my water which is going to create the broth to cook in the chicken and will also be the water that we use to cook our rice. I will cover this and the chicken is almost fully cooked. At this point is when I start to add my rice. I'm 
gonna add the sazon goya, which will give our rice a nice yellow color. I'm gonna stir it in. This is basically going to add color to our rice because our chicken is fully browned, so we don't need color for our chicken. But our rice does need, well at least I like it to be nice and a golden color. So at this point you're also going to taste it for salt. And it does need a little bit of salt. And I'm going to put some pepper as well. Again, this is going to be the water that flavors our rice. So we want it to be really tasty and seasoned. going to now add the rice which I've washed. This is white long grain rice and in this recipe I'm putting in about five cups of rice and I've used about seven cups of water. That's what I added at the beginning. And I'm going to now cook this rice uncovered until it absorbs about 90% of the water I would say. So it's absorbed the water and now it's ready to be covered and I will lower the heat. I will lower the heat down to a three on my stove, it's the number three, and I will cover it and then the rest of the rice will cook covered. And it needs that steam to get nice and fluffy. We interrupt this meal to show you my healthy salad, which will be the side dish for this meal. So this is just spinach that's been washed and it's in a bag. And I'm gonna mix it up with these nuts and dried fruits. And this is like the easiest side dish you can have. And I just dress it up with some balsamic vinegar, some olive oil and salt, and it's yummy. So this is gonna be our side dish for the meal easy and simple. Our rice is done. It's been about 20 minutes later since I've covered it. And I'm going to give this a nice, I guess, uh, what am I doing here? I am turning the rice around, basically like mixing it up so the top goes towards the bottom and we'll cook a little bit more. Oh my god, it's ready, it's done, it's cooked. But what I like to do is like fluff it up. That's the word that I was looking for. I'm fluffing up my rice and I'm going to turn the heat off and then I leave it covered for a few minutes and it's ready. This is my harshest critic. It's a little bit hot, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Is it yummy? I don't know yet. Not decided. Is it good? What is it? Good! It's yummy. <laughs> it's yeah. good, you guys. You gotta try this. <laughs> make it for your family. Don't make it for me, though. 